Hey developer and welcome to another Rev Code World video. When you use VirtualBox or Vagrant and you try to set up a new or a fully functional virtual machine on your environment and you face the exception, VTX is disabled in the BIOS for both all CPU modes, you should note that this error happens in most of the cases when the virtualization of your CPU is disabled in the BIOS or as well when the physical address extension is disabled in the configuration of the virtual machine in the graphic interface of VirtualBox. In this video, we will explain you how to get rid of this exception in VirtualBox or Background easily. For the main solution, you will need to access to the BIOS of your computer. When you first power on a computer, it goes through a very quick power on self-test. If you can hit the correct hotkey before this task is complete, you will get into the BIOS menu. Annoyingly, different PC brands use different BIOS keys. Most modern motherboards use the Dell key, but laptops and desktop are less consistent. For example, hitting F2 might work on an Asus, but you'll need to press F10 on an Acer computer. Once you access the BIOS, you will need to check the Intel Virtualization Technology option in your settings or advanced settings of the CPU. This technology enables a CPU to act as if you have several independent computers in order to enable several operating systems to run at the same time on the same machine. You will probably find this option disabled, so you need to enable this option, quit from the BIOS, saving changes and rebooting. Normally, once the virtualization technology is enabled, the problem shouldn't appear anymore. Once, you restore the computer, of course, and try to boot the virtual machine again. However, if the problem persists, you will need to access the settings of your virtual machine through VirtualBox, go to System and click on the Processor tab. Here, you only need to check the Enable PAE and X checkbox in the Extended Features. Save the changes and try booting your virtual machine once again. Finally, if we start our virtual machine, which in this example is a server version of Ubuntu 16.04, we will be able to use it without any problem. As you can see, we can access it remotely through PuTTY. We really hope that this video has helped you to solve your problem. If so, please subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time!